all the delegates, all the dignitaries mentioned that uh, they had a visit to China and they found out that the layouts were not good, the productivity at the workplace was not good. And you'll be surprised that uh, our experience with 175 company shows that in India, the engagement level, please note the word, the engagement level of a associate on the shop floor is only 130 minutes out of the 480 minutes which we pay him for. So I as an owner, if I am paying someone to work for 480 minutes, I as an owner am able to get work, valuable work from him only for 130 minutes out of those 480 minutes. So this is the kind of level or engagement level which we see in large organizations, in small organizations, in service sector, in manufacturing sector. So I think a gentleman yesterday had a question, what is the problem? Why don't we get this productivity? And we get this question from all the senior managers, CEOs, whenever we do a project, and the four fingers are towards the management. The first finger is towards the union, the person working on the floor, but the other four losses are on the management side. We deal a lot with unions and talk to workmen on the floor, and they say, you know, sir, management doesn't know what to demand. So one clear explanation which you get or feedback from the shop floor is, management doesn't know what to demand. Management doesn't know how much we can produce in this 480 minute shift or uh, from an assembly line or machine shop or a service sector operation. So that is the biggest challenge. The shop floor operators are very smart. They exactly know what is their engagement level, what they can produce. But no one will come forward and tell you, sir, I am engaged only for 130 minutes and I would like to go beyond 300, 400 minutes. So management doesn't know what to demand. The major loss is material not available, machine downtime. So a person is standing on the machine and material is not available or machine is down. So again, that's a management loss. It's not that person doesn't want to work. By nature, if you see an operator, if he's given material, if the ma machine is working, he'll try to finish his job as quickly as possible. He wants to complete his job as quickly as possible, pass it on to the next station. By purpose, no one will try to work slowly and do it purposely slowly and reduce his engagement time. So again, the problem is with management that they don't know what to demand and they don't provide material on time and machines are down. One a uh, clip from Economic Times, I, I was really impressed with this. I was staying in Bangalore for three years and I saw the Indira Nagar flyover being built in front of me. So I, someone knows Bangalore and the Indira Nagar flyover story. Then the whole Beijing, Beijing Olympics village was built at the same time as one flyover was built in Bangalore. So you can imagine the utilization of critical resources like JCBs, we have all those big JCBs digging and excavating. When I was there for three years, I used to observe 80% of the time the machine was just standing. There was no one in the machine to operate and really do the operation. So that is the problem with India. That we had, we know when people are talking, uh, we have a lot of skills in Rajasthan. We have a skilled workforce. Yes, we have a very, very skilled workforce. We, recently worked in Pakistan. Pakistan also has a very, very good skilled workforce. But what is the difference? Pakistan's labor productivity is higher than India's. Why? Because they are committed to 480 minutes of work on the shop floor. If I am skilled to do a job, I am making sure that I am working for 400 minutes plus on the shop floor. In India, if I am a skilled person, unfortunately, management labels me as a skilled person. So, I am a CNC operator, I'll just start a CNC and watch. I won't do anything else. I won't clean my workplace. I won't do unloading. I won't shift material between machines because I am a skilled person. This is what we try to break when we go about doing a most study. We call it breaking constraints, changing the mindset. And this is exactly what this article talks about. We in SMEs or manufacturing try to quickly get into the three letter pads like JIT or SAP or SRM, but this article very clearly spells out that without measuring work on the shop floor, if you try to implement any of these strategies, then it's not going to give you faster returns. 